Hi, it's Chase Harrison back with another snare for you today. Again, I have a fan on above me, so if you hear a little bit background noise, it's a fan. We're going to look at a very unique drum today. This is the PD Radio Pro, Radio Pro 500. Um, a month or so ago, I did the Radio Pro 1000, which is maple, which has, uh, on that one, the snare is built up on the middle, like a giant ring. This one, it has like two Saturn type rings. Also, the drum sets were made with these. Now, this is a synthetic ring that the uh, eyelets that hold the lug screws go into here, and then it goes on top of a shell. So there's nothing drilled into the shell. Everything's attached to these rings. So the shell is, is free to vibrate. Um, it's a standard shell, but by the time you put all this stuff on it and whatnot, I say standard, it's, 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 it's really close to... Uh, you know, the shell might be six and a half, so it's, a, it's actually deeper than that by the time you put everything on it. Uh, so you have to have a snare stand that'll go pretty low. Um, so it's probably close to about seven inches from top to bottom. Uh, this has snare strainer on one side, basic strainer, pretty smooth. Uh, just a butt plate attached to these synthetic rings, a little badge stuck on there. Um, it does try to peel up over time. Uh, this is stock everything as I got it, uh, except for the top head. Uh, this is a PD logo on this head. I'm assuming it's made by Remo. Uh, standard snares. It's got the plastic straps holding it. Uh, I haven't replaced anything. I did put, this has an Aquarian head. Um, it's the uh, texture coated Aquarian head with the white dot below. Um, this has been in storage for, excuse me, for quite a long time. Because I've been a Remo person for a long time, I just haven't used this drum. So um, I had seen and I got the Radio Pro 1000, and I've used that one uh, several times trying it out. They're they're very heavy. This was not nearly as heavy. It's heavy, but not as heavy. And to me, it has a a, a brightness to it because it's a steel shell, and then there's nothing to take away the ringing of that shell. So it's fairly bright and penetrating. There is one unique thing to it, if I can find it. Right here by the uh, snare mechanism, there's a vent. The shell comes around and doesn't quite make contact. So there's a, there's probably about, you know, a quarter inch or so separation of that shell, which does give it a little bit of a, a, a I guess, helping promote some kind of a dryness to it and whatnot. Anyway, it's a unique drum, very space age looking. And sounding, and I had seen Bobby Rock do a clinic where he had a brass shell with this on it, and I think his rings were hoop, were excuse me, his uh, rings that everything attached to were wood. It was really a cool drum that he had done in a clinic, used in a clinic, but I never saw that come to light in terms of being on the market. So anyway, I'm gonna play this one for you. This is no muffling whatsoever. Again, stock head on the bottom, similar to an Ambassador, and then there's a uh, Aquarian texture coated on the top because that's what's been on it for a long time. Here we go. No love.
gonna throw the Vader bus kill on here. Hopefully it's gonna stick. Um, I used it quite a bit in, uh, lately in the videos and I left it sitting on this hi-hat so it's probably absorbed a lot of dust in the air. has a lot of possibilities of stuff. Again, you want to have a snare stand that you know will go a little bit lower than normal because it's a pretty deep snare. Anything that will go low enough for an 8, this, this would work fine for there. It's not quite that deep, but it's it's approaching it. Again, I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever, but truth be told, I haven't used it uh, except a long time ago. So here we go. PD Radio Pro 1000. If you can find them, they're pretty cool. Excuse me, 500. <laughs> 